Uh, we're gonna bring in our featured artists. So these guys are really cool. They're uh, they're young dudes. So I'm feeling a little weird about all this <laughs> weird <laughs> talk, but <laughs> they seem Come to be on, okay. Joe, Joe, what are you talking about? You're acting like you you didn't say a swear word until you were like 30 years old or something. Mm -hmm. I mean, come on, man. No, I remember when I was actually like in the third grade, I started like I was on the swing and I just started saying damn for some reason. And I was like, yeah, that's, that feels good. <laughs> all the rest is downhill. So yeah. <laughs> anyway, all right. So Rob's ready. So Poly Drive, these guys are in New Hampshire um, coming out with a new song. Uh, guys, this is where I let everybody, uh, the featured artist, like I was telling you, give your uh, sort of your elevator pitch about who you are and what you're doing. You know, in about 30 seconds, we're going to check out the song Lovely. Um, and then we'll come back, get deeper with Dave. So who are you guys and why are you here? So I'm Cam. My this name is Cole. Cole, our, our third guy, Lars, couldn't be here. But uh, yeah, we're Polydrive. We're from New Hampshire. We make indie pop music. Um, we do everything ourselves in a bedroom, this bedroom, actually. So nice. uh, yeah, that's what we do. Cool. Well, you guys have obviously stuck out to me because we do a lot of featured, you know, we get a lot of submissions and stuff. And, uh, you know, you guys have a really cool, like Dave was saying, it's sort of an 80s style theme which yeah. is it's cool because uh you guys are so young and bringing back you know that that sound it's a good sound and it's a good song and let's go ahead and check out lovely and we'll be right back with deeper with dave yeah inside my dreams the ones where everything was set in stone and I want to be with you alone But how can I dream so far from home? You know my heart is always faking for your love She said let's go down to the city for a moment that I feel lovely I don't feel the same mentioned your bio that you have an 80s pop influence in your sound I think that's pretty clear listening here but in that 30 plus year span until present day there's a couple bands that really uh, jumped into my brain when I was listening to your stuff first one Savage Garden have wow. you ever heard of them or listened to their stuff truly madly deep <laughs> had some big hits okay. no I showed us that actually I don't yeah, know he was actually showing me that the other day so really? yeah so yeah, I've heard of them definitely. But the big one, the closest one to me, is definitely Daniel Bedingfield. So he had this song in 2003 called "If You're Not the One." How about him? No. I'm sorry. Number two. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I mean, it's more interesting to me because that means like your whole sound was uh, independently created, you know, and that that's just the first thing I wanted to figure out because it, it's it's. I encourage you to go listen to the, those guys. I think uh, they'll probably become one of your favorites. I mean, it just they're like soul brothers to your sound, honestly. Um, but so aside from that, '80s pop influences. What what are some of the bands that you kind of model after, like when you're starting to create your sound? I mean, Chicago is like. There we go. Nice. Yeah. Chicago, I mean, <laughs> Chicago Seventeen is one of the greatest albums to like ever be released. Yeah, and so sure. having that on like repeat, 
is like kind of like the backbone of our songs i feel like especially like lyrically a lot of like the metal melodies and everything it tends to like come from that i think phil collins also has a huge influence yeah with his lyrics too very cool man i, I a few months ago i ran into chicago just some like old shows on youtube yeah and just those harmonies uh, yeah man i <laughs> i tend to forget about them sometimes i'm gonna have to add them to spotify right now after the show they got, that, i really dug them dude back then <laughs> <laughs> they got some like weird stuff in the 70s but like as they went into like ballads in like the 80s and like the mid 80s i feel like that's where we we kind of like hit it off with them all right, cool, man. So if people don't realize already, you guys are brothers. Um, when did this start? When did you start messing around and actually writing your first tunes? So we started really, I mean, we've always done music producing um, just as hobbies. So we all have laptops and we produce ourselves. Um, I met Lars when I was like 14 and we both really had an interest in that. Um, and as Cole got older, all three of us really just started to get into producing beats together. Um, but it wasn't until like a year and a half ago where we were like, let's like, let's do this. Let's do a band and like release a song. Um, so All right. This, this is always a question I like to ask like the brothers is, uh, is yeah. at one point. So Cam, you're the older one, right? <laughs> All right. So at what point are you looking at your younger brother and you, you have this realization? It's like, hey, man, it, like. He's got some skills. I think we could actually play together. Yeah, <laughs> because well, I'm sure leading up to that, he he's probably like wanting to, like play around and get it, you know, mess around with music and stuff. Yeah. So at some point, you're like, yeah, I'll, I'll help you out. And it's like, whoa, this guy's got some talent. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Cole, when was that moment? He's a prodigy. Like he's probably one of the best producers I know. I and mean, we all produce, but Cole really, especially in like the drum pockets, he brings like such a unique sound. But uh, I remember. I had like old, like Logic 9 back like probably eight or nine years ago. And um, when I was just playing it, you know, doing songs and doing beats and stuff, as Cole got older, he like showed an interest in it and he would always want to like use my laptop and produce. And I don't really even remember when it was like, hey, let's start a band, but like we would pass the time. I mean, instead of like playing video games together, we would like make a song together. That's like, awesome. That's what we did for fun. So. Um, that's just kind of how it evolved and um, but yeah Cole it, it was great when we were like have, when we had the same exact vision for a song that's like helpful too like we rarely disagree on what anything should sound like um, and we have like a very similar we work off each other really well all three of us do really um, yeah I can't really think of the exact moment where it was like let's do this band thing but it was just kind of like hey let's do a song see what happens and like we have so many like we have just like laptops just full of so many demo demos um so it was like hey let's just do it and see what happens all right cool man so if, if people go to your website it's polydrivemusic.com mm -hmm. right away they're gonna get overwhelmed with orange balloons that's right so what, what's the story I mean, so, what's the story with the, there's got to be some meaning there yeah, so the original first single we released called By Design was back in February. Um, and the color scheme for that single was orange. Uh, the cover was orange. Then we shot a music video for it. And the music video theme, we wanted to match the cover. So we did it. We like we blew up like 300 balloons and just filled this tiny room and then shot this like visual music video. Um, cool, man. Being kind of cool. We like shot it ourselves and like edit did the edit ourselves. Um, so that's kind of the story behind that. And it, like got people's attention because the, the colors like catch your eye pretty quickly. So if people go to the tour page on your website, it's blank. So uh, yeah. what's going on? Are you going to start playing live or what? Yeah. I mean, we got a show tomorrow. We need to like keep that updated. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, how, how long have you been playing live, like live shows? Yeah, we've been for about a year, a little over a year. Um, so we played our first show February of 2018. Um, last summer, we played a lot of shows. We played um, in Hampton, New Hampshire. We played Maine. Um, Did you get up to Boston? Any shows in the city yet? So we're going to play. We played an acoustic show at like this lounge. But other than that, we haven't played in Boston yet. We're playing, though, in Boston um, at the get the name of the venue but we're playing in boston uh may 20 or june 29th I think well cool i think people are really gonna dig this this is a brand new song right just mm -hmm. like you yeah, haven't even released it yet 
podcast. It's out this Friday. So. All right, dude. So where can people find you? And other than the website, are you active in social and yeah, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Um, we have a YouTube channel. Um, our music's on Spotify, Apple Music, SoundCloud, anything like that. So, so for the podcast listeners, what, what are the handles? Is it at Polydrive on it's social? Polydrive, Polydrive Music for everything. Perfect. Awesome chatting with you guys. We're going to move on here. Uh, please come back. Send us your, your latest music as it progresses. I, I just I love that experience, you know, watching guys grow in their career. But uh, it's a hell of a start, dudes. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, we really man. appreciate it. Thank you so much for having us.